Armory 16 orbs have arrived in Marvel Strike Force. Does this mean now that we're getting a lot more teal gear? We have a new defense team coming in, Young Avengers. Is this the defensive war team that we didn't even know we needed? And we get an update coming. Yes, it has been two months since the last one. What can we expect in this next update? I'm discussing that and a lot more on your Marvel Strike Force weekly news update. I am joined by Tony Skinjili. And if you're ready for it, guys, Tony, tell him what to do, my friend. Smash it. Valley Flyer. Hello, hello, hello. What is up, my Valley Maniac friends? I am Valley Flying. I want to welcome you back to the Valley Flying channel where we're discussing Marvel Strike Force on, yeah, we do this every week, your Marvel Strike Force weekly news update. Today, I am joined by my brother, Tony Scangili. It has been a long time since uh, we have talked about Marvel Strike Force and uh, there's been some good things happened in the game, some bad things happened in the game since then. But more importantly, my friend, how are you doing? Hanging in there, man, every day. That, every day is a blessing. That's good. That's good. I'm glad you're hanging in there. Um, all right. And I guess let's get right into it. We got we got a new armory orb. We got an armory 16 orb that appeared in the game last night. Uh, mm -hmm. Does this mean that we're getting more teal gear coming very soon? To have enough people finish Dark Dimension 5 that now we're going to, now the floodgates are going to open and more players are going to get to that? Is this what it means or is this just, uh, I don't know. Is this something else? No, it makes sense. I mean, it, it's... The closest contemporary to like gear to teal gear for any of us old old timey players who are out of touch, you know, yelling at the clouds. We uh, we remember what it was like when they introduced orange gear, and uh, we were like, oh no, it's a whole new gear that we have zero of, and we're starting from scratch. And it wasn't that difficult. Uh, it doesn't that long between like, hey, this is the stuff that you need to do to get it. And then them starting to like slow drip and drab them into raid store, slow drip and drab them into the regular store. I think it was before the war store, so that didn't really count. But then they introduced the war store and then they're like, hey, look, it's here. You know, they so the, the idea is like there's only so much blood you can get from a stone. So yeah. you want to keep these things like tight while the players who are willing to spend the most money or put the most effort in towards getting them are will are are capable of but eventually there comes that break point when like there's people who are just like no we're like i haven't spent i'm not gonna spend or like i'll get them when i get them and that's yeah. kind of built in now like they have the experience to know that like all right you know what maybe three or four months so they introduced the game mode they they gave everybody the dark dimension and now it's like well, okay well people got in i think there's like 20 people or so who in it by now I, I, around 22 we'll, maybe we'll, we'll go look and, at the exact number in just uh in just yeah. a little bit that, that's a whole nother topic here but and again they're not farmable yet they're just another no. way to get them so like armory 16 orbs great like questions always going to become how do we get them yes yeah, so do we have was, to do the hardest raid question. at the hardest difficulty or are they going to be the same as the 14 and 15 where like they're just in the milestones i think those are reasonable so what what is your prediction on it? We do have these orbs available right now. Uh, as far as I know, no way to get these shards for any of this. I haven't seen any offers for this, uh, or I might have missed it, but uh, they're not including the raids and war or anything. How do you think we're gonna get fragments for this new Armory 16 arm? And does does it does is this in its final form? Because right now there's a left and a center pillar. There's no right pillar, so. Is this in its final form? Is this a preview of what is coming? And how do you think we're gonna get these shards? It's it's 50 50 that it just accidentally went live early. You know, sometimes that happens and they're like, ah, it's not. Wait, take I'm, it down I'm yet. something happening early at Scoplay? What? Yeah, it's 50 what? 50. Like maybe they put it in as like a, hey, this is coming. Or maybe they put it in and, and it, like it was supposed to go live like a week from now or, or something. And oh, no. Ah, whatever. So like, who knows? But uh, maybe that's the final form. Maybe it'll be updated sometime in the future. I don't really pay that much attention to like that detail because we don't even know how we're getting them. If I had to guess, yeah. I would say they'll probably do a couple of events, like maybe a store event or a milestone styled event where, you know, the more things you do, the more you get. And then eventually it'll become very similar to the 14 and, and 15 orbs where through milestones and logins, they just give you 
We do have an event coming up for Echo that was teased in an in-game mail that we're going to discuss. So maybe, maybe something with this. Uh, I, I did want to talk about the Nowhere Heist tag because when Armory 14 or these Armory 16 orbs were introduced last night, Mega Orbs went vanished. They're back now, but uh, we also got this introduced in the game. This was here for a brief time when update, what are we in 5.9 right now? When it went live back in December, the Nowhere Heist tag with these characters, very specific characters, Doc Ock, Ebony Ma, Kitty Pride, Star Lord, Rocket Raccoon. Tag went away, but last night when the Armory 16 introduced, this tag came back very briefly. So what do you think this means? Do you think uh, this is an event coming up? This was an event that was planned and it got scrapped. Do you think this has something to do with these Armory 16 orbs, potentially giving us more teal gear? What, what is, where is your head leaning with this Nowhere Heist? It goes back to that. And it might've been, might been a little bit of an oopsie. You know, might have been a, uh, <laughs> might have been. Oh no! I think I don't think it's nothing. You know, I I think that th this is something that like could potentially be like, oh okay, maybe we got it coming up. Uh, it is very unique to see a five character release, like only five characters with a tag. Yeah. That's usually reserved for legendary unlocks, and I don't believe any of the characters we're getting this patch are legendary unlocked. I know where heisting. <laughs> Yeah, like that. I, mean, I, I don't know. I thought this was going to be a event for T'Challa. Honestly, I, I was surprised when we 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 got T'Challa blitzes. But this is this is strange. I'm trying to figure out where where these characters would fit together. Why why this nowhere? Also, oh, this is three legendaries. Yeah, uh, yeah. Star, the, Star Lord the, is a legendary. Guys, <laughs> so I forget. Everything. Yeah, like this is three legendary <laughs> characters. The fifth best men and then rocket raccoon who has fallen so far from grace that like you could dig a ditch and still not find him like wh what is this team accomplishing i'm I terrified know. i don't know <laughs> leave, your, leave your comments guys leave your guesses what this could mean we've seen what this, do, what, this team unlocked dormammu like what do we do with this i don't know i mean it's kang the conqueror if, team if right it here didn't return last night i would have a different question about this team but it returned very briefly last night then it went away I don't know what is going on. I thought maybe this was an error, but obviously with it returning last night, I think they still have plans for this. So let, yeah. let me know, guys, in the comments what you think is coming up. Now, we did get a new character out this past week. It is this guy, Star-Lord T'Challa. He has a blitz tonight. All right. He's a war offense character. How hard should be people be pushing for him based on that? He also has a tech tag. How hard should be pu people pushing for this character based on war offense? And how hard should be they be pushing based on him having a tech tag and not really having a great solution in tech in Doom 2 right now? So I did I did videos. I do a new video series now called Nope or Dope, where I just kind of look over the character and determine if it's like, nope, you can kind of take it easy on this guy or dope, go all in. You know, not not to say you should or shouldn't get characters, that's up to you. And again, I don't really tell anybody how to do and play the game and enjoy it. But for me, for what I'm seeing from Star Wars T'Challa, uh, he's a war character first, right? And mm, like, yes. just like the web warriors are raid characters first. So the first answer to the question of how hard you should go, how high, how many stars you should aspire to get, how many red star orbs you should have who should have opened already is how much do you need another war offense team? How much can you afford to work on this character plus four characters that probably haven't seen the light of day for a long time? If the answer is yeah. you need it, then like of course he's right. here, enjoy it. But outside of that, yeah, I think the like, bigger question it, is the outside because I think is, that, is he better than Death Strike in tech? No. So, uh, here, you know, here's, here's, here's my thoughts. And, 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 and uh, get your, he has some good moves. This is a very long yeah. cooldown. This is a six turn cooldown. His ultimate four also has a six turn. Cool. Am I reading that wrong? I don't know. He, he has. A, he has so, so the cooldowns. reason you're reading long it wrong is okay. if you look at Gravity Repulsor, right? Uh, it applies blind and then after if the target has blind steals up to it becomes two with tier fours. Okay, okay. So okay, okay. you use it at six 
he goes to two on his next turn. He has three energy and he's got pretty decent speed. I believe he's 126. Right. So All he right. will long, take long a speed cool rest. Downs. Long cooldowns. Yeah. Is, he still, is he still a val valuable raid character for folks? Though? I think I think that's the, the other question VP will ask you. I have not tested him. As you can see, I pulled zero red stars on him. Not gonna, not gonna do too well in Doom 2.2, even regardless if he's a good character. So, uh, have you tested him? Is he, is he, is he the fourth character that we should be bringing into tech? I have not tested him. Uh, I don't, I don't need another. I, I, I truly believe he is a war offense character. Period. Okay. Uh, I don't think like let's use Daily Lady Deathstrike. You brought her up. That's a great example. Lady Deathstrike isn't amazing in Doom Raids. She's no. the best possible answer we have right now. She's like, in the flex. It's, she's in the rotation because she's all right. Yeah, and she's, she's newer to character. It, it's like it's like there are some skill nodes people bring in Zemo. I think it's skill node two in Doom uh, that they're like Zemo helps with this one particular you know. Yes. So we don't yeah, actually Zemo have a tech one. team. Yeah. So there's we don't actually have a tech raid team. Mm -hmm. Why? So, Why Scopely? Why? <laughs> Because they're coming next patch, not this, the next next the patch, not the patch that's coming next week. Yeah, yeah, March is patch. Right. Yeah, March is patch. Right. Um. Uh, so so, and also this is kind of the point. They're hey, work on tech characters now. I'm not saying he won't be useful. I'm not saying you can't find uses, but I don't want people wasting money buying him, thinking he's going to solve the when he's not. If you're already getting him, if you already want to work on him. If you have an abundance of tech gear, then give them a shot, right? Like there's okay. not much else, but just remember that they gave up, they're giving us teams always to do the raid stuff. So there's going to be a tech team. It's going to happen. How much right. tech gear do you want to spend on the second best options? You know, that's it. All right. So this, this, this may be a solution now, but there should be a solution yeah. coming within the next two or three patches. And uh, if you want a, sol a solution now, maybe better than what we have in the game. I don't think he's better, better than, than LDS. Not, not better than what's coming. All right. Not better than LDS. I don't think so. But LDS at the same has, time, like. LDS hasn't impressed me too much. So that's not saying too much about T'Challa. <laughs> Some people can't wait. You know, some people need to get a little bit better run now, and he might be able to help you with that. I don't see it yeah. being that relevant. Your mileage may vary. You know? Got it. Got it. Now, what do you think about this Ravager team? I, I think you briefly I talked like about him. when we were talking about T'Challa. I like him. Uh, you, you like him? <laughs> it, it, yeah. what, what are you countering with this team? What are what what kind of experience are you seeing with this team? How how, how much do you personally, Tony, how much do you need this uh, team on war right now? Need? Uh, I don't, uh, what? Let's, you know let's me, go, I let's don't go want. Let's go want. How much? How much do you want to be using this team on war offense right now? Do, do you do you know? OK, here's my best example. They're better than the X-Force team. Is this, is and this they 2022's are 22's X-Force in your opinion? This is last They're they're better than the X-Force team is today and they are as as good against like the field as the X-Force team was when they came out. You know okay. what I mean? So so like just to put that out there like they, they yeah, no, they're not countering heroes for hire. Like okay. they're not. They're d d no. They're countering uh, yes, a lot of other other it, teams I'm hearing though. Yes. That, that's they're not stopping heroes for hire. That that's the big thing like there you could be you could punch down you might rng a shot you might have an entire team at 600k that's your own that's your own bag the team itself doesn't really counter heroes for hire uh things have to go very well for you stitcher has to you know assassinate somebody that sam somehow hasn't healed there's a lot of things that have to happen but outside of that team they're just an around good offense team I, I like to refer to them as like the best cleanup teams in the game. You know, like you go into a fight and, you, you know, they took down one character. Some they left the five up. These guys will clean up whoever the other five characters are. That that kind of thing. Uh, that's auto, automatic win. And then you have the the other like older meta teams. These team team can really kind of push through, put out a decent amount of damage. Yondu has incredibly surprised me how powerful Yandu is just uh, constantly ripping buffs off people 
every time he takes a turn summoning actual minions that don't suck yes. like oh god he's cool yandu passes, got yandu got the cool biggest glow up now yeah yandu got the biggest glow up of all of this yandu's glow up is like close to nebula's glow up gamora that's insane but like that that's how strong he got compared to and then like nebula was great but her team was insane like, she didn't yeah. really make too much of a difference yandu's insane <laughs> yeah now, yeah. uh, you know, you're comparing this to older teams like X Force and stuff like that. Let's compare yeah. this to the latest War Offense team. How do you think this compares to the new X Men with Magic? I mean, these these are the two latest War Offense teams. They're not neither of them are designed to counter the meta of the Heroes for Hire. But how do which which one would you prefer to use? Which one do you think is more effective? The Ravagers or the X Men? The reworked X Men. Reworked X Men's real good. <laughs> better, better than we, guys, we work X-Men's real good. The, um, they steal. These guys steal. Is the, is the damage way better than the stealing, or is the stealing better? Two Phoenixes is really good. I I I, I, <laughs> I you, like it's good. It takes a lot to like that rework team. They put they put one character. They're like, here's magic. What does she do? More Phoenix. Oh, okay. Like. <laughs> Well, more I Storm, actually do more Cyclops, a lot more than that team. Let, let me let me put it in a different perspective. I think the X Men, the new uh, Uncanny X Men, are are as good on defense as they are on offense. Ooh, right? Ooh, like, I've heard different so, thoughts. That's going to be a little controversial, I think. So, so the only difference that I can is presence of of like certain types of characters. Like, they're no matter what, they're going to require a a risk, right? Mm -hmm. Like whatever that response is. So are they going to get wins? No, probably not. Are they going to tax your opponent from a very good team like the Astonishing X-Men or? All right. All right. From that, I would agree from Maybe. that perspective. Okay. Okay. It okay. depends on what you're doing in war, right? Like if you're, if the purpose of your war defense is to get wins, like depending on where you are in the war cycle, that's just not going to happen. If the purpose of your war defense is to make your opponent have it per se, like I think the 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 Axemen right. or the Uxmen right, do fair. okay. I think this team doesn't do as well on defense. That's that's kind of where I'm going. Okay. But I, again, I could be wrong. I haven't put uh, them on defense. I haven't fought them yet. You know. Well, let's go back to this guy, Starlo T'Challa. He has a blitz coming up. His first blitz. I was, I, you know, like I said, I was rather surprised that he's getting a blitz. I thought it was going to be something to do with that nowhere heist event, but we've had some, Same. we've had some blitzes recently to kind of give us an indication of where what we can expect. The two most recent new character blitzes, uh, the top one percent. 52.6 for the first Ghost Spider Blitz, 52.9 for the second Ghost Spider Blitz with that a lot of these cutups down there. A little less for uh, Silver Surfer because I think a lot of the higher TCB players, they already had him at seven stars. So 1% for Silver Surfer ended up being about 43.1 to 43.5% or 1,000 uh, for the top 1%. With that said, all, that was a lot said. What do you think... What do you think the uh, the one percent cutoff for Star Lord T'Challa is going to be higher or lower than Ghost Spider? Lower. Lower than Ghost Spider. Yeah. Because war offense and not raid or. Uh, uh, when I say lower, person. I don't mean like dramatically lower. I just mean like I don't know if fifty-two mil Ghost Spider was delayed, and uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to kind of kind of guesstimate. He is a one character unlock. Like he's a 100 shard unlock for one character that also comes with four other guys you have to work on that you probably. So the question is, one, who's actually blitzing? Two, are people using Blitzbot again? You know, like that always comes. Com conversation always uh, comes up. Ugh, uh, ugh. And three, I thought that conversation like, was dead. <laughs> that these are just right. things that so like should i wouldn't i definitely wouldn't shoot for lower than 52 million on any new character now ghost spider kind of set the yeah the record on that so like looking at these numbers especially from her first blitz like yeah so if you can't get to 38 million you might not get two to three percent you'll end up there so whatever percentage you want to end up on like for me you need to get 45 on one and 35 on another, I think, or 30, 45, 25. I don't remember specifically to get the 100 shard unlock. So, like, if you can get to 1%, power to you. You know, yeah, God bless. I'd say whatever these <laughs> scores are, 
even if he's not as coveted in Ghost Spider, I'm going to go the opposite. Say all of these are going to be slightly higher just because he's a couple weeks later and people's rosters have gotten slightly bigger in that time. So I'm going to say go go a couple thousand or what is it? A couple hundred thousand above all of these scores. Hundred um, thousand. Thousand. Sure. A, a, yeah, whatever. Go, go, go a million. Go a million, two or three million above all these scores. That's, Ghost that's Spider is at. cool. I'm just going to say Ghost Spider is cool and one of the best raid characters in the game. T'Challa is slightly less cool and <laughs> a war offense character. Like, it, it's... I could be wrong, but, like, I don't see that many people who have the potential of blitzing that hard, caring as much for that type of character. I right. But I could be I wrong. I could right. be wrong. I need to, and again, I need to, I I'm not to saying to it's top. not going to be 52. I'm not saying it's not going to be 52. It's going to be 48. No, no, no. It's going to be like 51, seven, you know, like, I don't think it'll reach this number on cutoff, but like, uh, I don't think it's going to be I gotta, noticeable. I gotta go hard on this one though. Cause uh, I did very bad on the red star pool. I need those red stars. So I, I'm shooting for the 1%. So I'm going to go for maybe 55 or something. Now, okay. little controversy surrounding T'Challa. He was in these red star. He was in these red stars and they're, they were going away in a little bit uh, today. But I guess the controversial thing, at least for myself is starting today. 4 p.m. server reset. As soon as Star Lord is out of those red star orbs, guess who's going in there? These these awesome awesome ravagers. Did you think six months ago that a ravager increased drop rate in the red stars would ever be a thing, a serious thing that they would uh, be implementing this game? Yes, but I never <laughs> thought it would actually be a, like cool. <laughs> like, like I wouldn't be surprised if they did it, but I never was like this will be great. Like, I never thought, like, yay, Stitcher. Like, now I'm like, no, nah, that's not bad, actually. I don't think it's great. <laughs> and the reason for this is, where's our increased 10% drop rate on these red stars? My goodness. We've had, how many How many are we going to have now? We, we went from Oh, for dark promotions? Yeah, the dark promotion credits. We went from T'Challa. Now we're going to Ravagers. And then next week, we're getting Echo. So no break. No no time to open these. What, what are we to do if we're trying to stockpile our dark promotion credits and open only fours or fives? What are you going to do? Are you going to open orbs for this next character? Do you think it's some massive conspiracy to give us less dark promotion credits? What do you, what do you make of all this? Or, or they're just not thinking? Uh, did they sell dark promotion credits in December? I feel like they did. I, I don't pay attention. I feel to like there was offers. an offer for dark promotion credits. This, I, don't, I honestly don't know what this. Quick, get mobile on the phone. Look, I don't look at. I don't look in the offers most times. So. <laughs> Quick, call mobile. Uh, yeah, no, I, I. I feel like I saw an. I feel like either I saw one or someone said it. They're like, there was a dark promotion credit offer, and I was like, we're never seeing these again. Someone, someone yeah. at Scope, we figured out we could, we could, they could sell these. Like. Well, this, this is the Red Star rework. We were asking them to fix the Red Star system for years now and say, hey, how about uh, instead of fixing it, we give you dark promotion credits instead? I I mean, who did you have you spent dark promotion credits yet? I have one star on Ultra and that's it. I almost bought that too. I was like, ah, nah. I oh, one, what I, I do. One. <laughs> This is gonna sound silly. What I do is I look at what the cap of things I can have is, and I'm like, unless I need something, I just get really close to that cap before I spend it. This yeah. is an old resource hoarding mentality I have. Uh, uh, but yeah, like, that's, that's, a good, that's a good philosopher for this game. <laughs> so like, I was when I had enough to buy red stars on Ultron. I was like, Nah, I'm good. And then like they're like Doom's in here. I'm like cool. And now I have enough to buy Doom. And I'm like eventually Dormammu's going in right. Eventually I'm, I'm just never gonna spend dark promotion credits. <laughs> like with costume credits, it's the, the same. They'll just keep raising yeah. the cap. Yeah. All right. I just spent fifty thousand costume credits to bring my total costume credit number down to like hundred and twelve thousand. And I was like, all right, I, now I'm safe. Now right. I can buy any costume they put in that store. <laughs> Well, I guess that answers my question about uh, if you think costumes are appealing for the next strike pass. <laughs> but oh no, any, any, any yeah, I, I know, I, I know your answer already based on what you just said. <laughs> All right, so yes, I like them. Hopefully, we, hopefully, it's for people like myself that are wanting more dark promotion credits, waiting for that to happen uh, after this echo increased drop rate. Hopefully, there's nothing. Hopefully, there's a break that we can open some of these. But uh, I, I'm not really feeling. I it. mean. 
Full disclosure, I'm not opening red star orbs outside of specialty characters anyway. You know what that I mean? Was, that like was my I philosophy before. I'm 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 changing it because of some of these recent bad red star pulls, then hopefully that'll increase the luck. It hasn't so far though, so I don't know what is the right thing to do. Re re well, I, you know, I, I save stories, elites. I think. I save the leads. I, I think that the red star store has got to go. Like personally, I just think it's, it's store, like it did its job. System, Get rid of the store. Everything. Now at the, at the bottom of the character's thing where it has red stars, you should just be able to be like, buy these. That's yeah. it. The yeah. sec like that. It, I get that the store came out for its purpose. It's done its job. Tony, go away it's now. Two like, years that that store has been there. <laughs> Yeah, like it's over. Just let people promote the character that they want to promote with the credits they get. Like, don't, don't I make. Agree. I don't want to spend in cores to refresh the store to maybe like. No, it's over. Like, stop. Yeah. Just yes. Get let people upgrade the things. Eat. Like, is that better? Yes, it's better than what we have. I think it's even good. So just let people like. Hey, I want to buy a fifth red on Icarus. He gets added to the purchase pool now. Yeah. And, and then like that's it. Yeah, and, and as soon as the character is there, maybe not waiting to six weeks because initially we didn't have to wait that. They added that in two years ago and uh, hope we were hoping that they would remove that. They never did. So it's, it's time to remove that as well. All right, but we're, we're getting red stars, increased drop rate for our new character, Echo. Coming in this next update, I think it's going to be released on patch day, which I'll give my prediction for uh, later in this video. But we saw her kit. Young Avengers, they're getting reworks. We don't see all the reworks here yet, but it looks like uh, they're going to be a war defense team. And I asked the question already, is this a war defense team that we didn't know we needed? I hate war defense teams. I think, I think a lot of the community is uh, very apathetic to these. Is this, is this a good thing, Tony? One reason I like war defense teams is as a player, I've learned that war defense teams are invest at your leisure team. Um, I, like, I like that positive so, spin. I like that positive yeah, spin. So, so, so I know like when people say like, Ugh, I don't want another war defense character. Well, like, first of all, so many war teams end up unlocking legendaries in general. Uh, <laughs> like just in general, more more war teams end up unlocking legendaries than anybody else. But that's not everyone. But so like when I see this and I'm like, OK, so it's a war. De it's clear we got war defense potential. She's got some other cool stuff to her kit. She looks pretty fun. Maybe got some extra splash value in other places. We'll find out more as we see her stats and everything. But what really kind of stands out is like, hey, we're about to get a new war defense team, two new characters plus a three old rework, you know, the America Chavez, uh, Ms. Marvel and Squirrel yeah. Girl. Uh, they might not I, be reworked. I, I thought it might be, be nerfing America Chavez, but I guess I should guess. She's well, that was that was the mistake. We needed the nerf, but we didn't know why yet. Now we're going to know why, because uh, she's going to be an absolute nightmare, right? It was, we, it was pretty we needed to pre nerf sure her. <laughs> You knew, you knew, you had the insight that that never be a war defense team. Nerf her before they even become a war defense team. I love uh, it. I don't think they're going to be heroes for higher strong. Just looking at this, I mean, unless the three character rework is psychotic, no, I, I think they're I closer to like Merc strong. Charges. I think you're right, Tony. Those crazy charges will make it unfun. I, I think it's, I think it's the Merc. This is going to be like the Merc team. You that's know what I mean? Fine. Like that's fine. And, and that's cool. cool. That's so like fine. I said, I like to look at war defense teams as a set it and forget it, like unlock them and deal with them as you can. I don't have, what is she, skill, I believe? Echo uh, has the skill tag. Yeah, sure. We don't need another skill character. We got Shang-Chi. Yeah. So like, guess what? Zemo I'm not spending orange skill gear on, on a war defense character right now. If she happens to have value in like a skill note or something, if she's like better than Shang-Chi in a fight or something like that for for doom raids like well okay that's a reason to invest i don't have to just be like buy unlock max out spend resources buy orange gear iso 5 like i don't I have like to that do that i like that perspective yeah, and, the positive i like it i like it you're exactly right you know the web warriors are like i need these guys right now icarus cersei i need these guys right now this one and then she the unlocks show. a legendary and, and we're like ah gold, gold, gold stars on the 
good character in case of that, <laughs> yeah. but we don't need the gear. Gold stars, the purple, yeah. gold stars, purple circles. That's the that's the hashtag now. Hashtag gold stars, purple circles. Yeah. All right. So um, I guess it's a good thing. I guess it's a good thing that uh, these are characters that we don't need to invest in. Uh, they'll be they'll be like She-Hulk and Elektra and Swarm and options. And I, I think all, yeah, characters later. are great. Yeah. Right. I really do. Not every but not every character is a must have. And and people need to like believe that. Like you don't always have to have every character, depending on where you are in the game. Now, obviously, if I'm playing like Diamond Tier War or whatever, or Challenger, whatever the highest is, like yeah, maybe I do need a better war defense because I want to win more wars. Uh, but even then, how much power does she need? If if we don't know, we'll find out. I like I like your philosophy. Set and forget it. Just put what in now. Now this this has some people thinking this could be very very crazy. This thing on our passive that says while this character does not have blind, reduce assist chance for enemies by one hundred percent. Do you think that's gonna make a difference in any, any other game mode, or that's just gonna be annoying for maybe teams like Infinity Watch or something that does have a lot of assists? This character. So that's just a weird phrasing, by the way. It while is, this character is, does is, not have blind. <laughs> Keep in mind, like it's not she's like she deaf. gives herself blind she's, through she's, it's some random effect. She's deaf. She she can see. Uh, reduce she assist needs. chance for enemies, so enemies can't assist. Basically, is where Pretty this is much. going. Unless unless she's blinded. Yeah, uh, uh, and um, where does that come in? So like someone, a lot of people like to key in on one word and focus on it. Like Nebula's basic does health steal. She's amazing in dark dimension. Like, all right, sport, calm down. Uh, like amazing is a rough word, useful. All right. So she's this is like reduce rotation. assist chance. So yeah. let's, let's kind of run through all of the, the teams, right? That you will face on an average situation that have an assist chance. Okay. Her Infinity team. Watch. Infinity her Watch. Team, her team, yes. Some mirror matches. Uh, Taskmaster on the mercenaries. I guess right? if, if, if you're gonna go offense with this team, yeah. Cloak and Dagger. The, the uh, what's it called? There's probably a lot uh, that I'm not thinking. There's, there's, there's enough. A lot. There's a lot, there's a lot. So like, you think about all those characters that do that, right? And then you're like, well, she, they're gonna beat the Infinity Watch. And I'm like, yeah? Like, like that yeah, alone is going to stop the Infinity might, Watch? Might, maybe. Score, maybe there's a, yeah. The we don't know might, Kate, don't know. right? We don't know what Kate looks like. So, like, no. maybe, but, like, is that... You can, if you can look at this and be like, they're going to beat the Infinity Watch, like, stop looking. Like, they might. It, it, keep that in your hand. Like, hey, that's but something to remember. Do, but, like... I'm thinking about defense. Who cares? Like they're, they're, yeah, all right. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's why it was so funny in the top when it was like to stop the war teams like the Infinity Watch. They're like they counter the scroll up, scroll up. No, 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 this is important because I remember this happening when I was reading it live. Uh, up a little, yeah, right there. More. Up a little bit more, yeah, yeah. Powerful team will be formidable against Infinity oh, Watch. Yes. So like people read formidable as encounters Infinity Watch, and I was like, no, formidable is generally speaking a defensive trait. It, like it means like we can stand against it doesn't mean you conquer so like to yeah, be a formidable right. adversary formidable. yeah it doesn't say beat. yeah it doesn't say beat it doesn't yeah. say it, smash it, it, demolishing <laughs> they're gonna yeah. they're, gonna, they're gonna be sturdy it's like they're this sturdy. team will stand <laughs> against the infinity watch on war defense it doesn't mean you're gonna like yeah we beat him like that's not i don't i don't think that's gonna happen but we'll see, uh, whatever american chavez is rework is coming brother you know we don't know what it is <laughs> she gets plus she gets plus two thousand for every uh young avenger on her team now oh i thought it was gonna be based on her, the Infinity watch members her, that they're facing all right <laughs> Her special just becomes Deathpool's full charged ult. You're dead. Oh jeez. Oh no. <laughs> all right. Remove I, all buffs from all characters. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy, dude. It's gonna be crazy. Trust, trust yep. me. All right. Uh, Echo is coming though. She's probably gonna be the first character released based on the silhouettes that we saw. We got yep. this message that be on the lookout for the mirror image event to earn character shards. Is this something, is this something cool? Maybe they were in relation to nowhere heist, armory 16 orbs, 
or is this is this is this very generous like that spider punk event that we have going on right now but just just for a new character or is this something something new and interesting that we haven't seen before what same as usual or something different so they they tend to clarify us a couple of things when they announce events the first thing they'll announce is if it's a blitz so it's not a blitz it's the second blitz. thing they announce is if it's a campaign so it's not a campaign the third thing they announce is if it's a store now because they have the special stores so it's not a store so we can remove those three from when they're so, from their so announcements event, event doesn't mean campaign event like we have for spider punk is what they're saying no other and, and again event. you okay. can can go back and historically look between blog posts and posts like this okay. and get an idea okay. of how that means of, right. of what that means now sometimes and sometimes they clarify a little bit later but this would be the post that they would say that so when i hear mirror image event my brain goes towards like uh with icarus no icarus was a store i'm sorry uh maybe, maybe we'll have a store maybe we'll have a store i don't think so i think they would have yeah. said it i think they tend to say like they well, tend wait, to mention wait, those wait, things wait, they mention everything that, <laughs> all the details no they mention if a store is being <laughs> added they mention they mention they wait, be on the lookout they, see that on the lookout that they have that your head is yeah. covering right there that that's free. They have never changed that. That be on the lookout has always been the start. And what changes is the yellow text and what comes after it. So again, we we'll just go back and look at some of the old ones. We'll see like I don't know. We, we can do back. other. They're, they're, they're not, we're gonna we, we can go, go back, back to your videos. videos. We gotta go back. We can to go to your videos video. for that. Yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't yeah. know where they are. So I was just videos, saying like, dude, no, know. you don't have to go back. You guys go back and All look right. and see what like I'm not crazy. All right, it's some they tend to clarify event. that. Probably not a store, probably not a campaign event. So something else. Probably some generic milestone event where it's like, if you use these characters or if you complete Blix or if you spend energy or, you know, one yeah, of those kind of like. That's kind of where my head is going because that's, that's yeah. you know, that's not going on right now. So it would be some kind of variance. But those, those have had stores in the past. So I'm hoping that it's like that and they're just not mentioning a store in this blog post. Hopefully there's- uh, Also, there's we don't know her her shard count. That actually also helps us figure out. We don't know her Generally shard count speaking. and we don't know what trait will be used for this. Cause usually in events, they need some kind of trait. Usually, not always, but usually. So- Nowhere. Nowhere, <laughs> nowhere trait. Uh, nowhere. <laughs> we, we were talking about dark dimension. The first, oh, yeah. wait, wait. We're gonna the go, first we're gonna go in. We're gonna <laughs> let's, let's, uh, how many how many people have, have beat Dark Dimension? Twenty two. It should 22? be twenty two. Oh, it's up. It's higher. Oh, we're it's up, up twenty five today, Tony. And how many have a full full on Doom? We have twenty one with a full not Doom full Dormammu. All right, that is where we stand on the Dormammu. Now the reason I bring this up. <laughs> Is Dormammu is, watch. Dormammu watch. Well, this has been. <laughs> there are now 25. This has been a long time. This has been passed a long time ago. And this is the winner gets these rewards. But the entire community, we're supposed to get this stuff. This is from a blog yeah. post back on October 22nd. And I think yeah. Fantano Mac finished it like the week after this blog post came out or something like that. Yeah, that's about right. The winner will get to choose two characters, non-legendary, to let individual players decide which of them will receive the character charge for. There'll be two different orbs that can be charged for two different characters. The players can use limited time credits to open any combination of them. Similar to Dark Dimension 4, where players can choose Call or Ghost. They also get one of the two characters to receive a Red Star promotion for. So there's some rules here, but uh, I, I can't, I don't remember where it said it, but he was supposed to choose all of these things within seven days of, uh, of him completing this. Oh, here we go. All choices must be made by the winner, must be made with seven business days completion, or the choices will be made by the dev team. All right. So why, why are they taking so long with reducing this? I think some of that came, uh, some of the speculation with that came with these new Greek raid orbs that we have in the game right now. Um, uh, do you think that the inclusion of cloak and dagger and the rumors that Tadano Mac has chosen cloak and dagger. You think there's some some nefarious means by them adding the orb before they give the selections from Tadano Mac? No, I just, I just think that they were they didn't do anything last month. Like, oh, no. I, like I'm not being like mean. I'm not trying to be rude to them or anything. Like I just think they were off for like mo like the patch was out, right? Like they. 
they took two weeks off. They all came back like the first or second week of January. Yes. Like somewhere in that time, they they started running up. They started planning for the future. That's why our blog posts were kind of stale until like last week. Like no yeah. new information. So like, yeah, I, I think they were just kind of like, all right, we're easing back into work. You know, our very stressful job of making millions of dollars selling cartoon characters to kids. Like, like they, they just easing back into their job and they're like, we'll get to this. Now, the players want to know, but like that doesn't like whatever. I wanted to know for since before. <laughs> I wanted to break. know the day after he before did it. Like, is it Cloak and Dagger? Left for their break. We wanted to know this stuff, Tony. Yeah. So like, exactly. So like they just don't like they didn't get around to it. Like they were like, all right, so we have to push the new patch. And then like maybe not this coming Friday, but the Friday next will right, be like, so oh, and by the way, well, because th- it's all the event, right? So what? here's what happened. Look, look at it. Like, and again, I'm not defending or being salty. I'm just like thinking about it from every perspective. Yeah. Like if you if I say like, guys, here it is. The cloak and dagger orbs. Those are the characters that hypothetically those are characters were chosen. Right. We're all excited. Right. Cool. We'll get more information as to when it's going to happen. That's going to piss you off more. But all right. I know it's cloak and dagger now. But now I don't know when. So like, I I think they just kind of want to set it so that like they could tell you everything at one time and be like, this is what's happening. This is when okay. it's happening. We'll see you later. That That's right, what I, I think. I'm giving them benefit of the doubt. Enough. I hope you're fair enough. And your prediction for when we're going to get the announcement for this, not this Friday, so not tomorrow's blog post, but the blog post after the update. So next week, Friday. Yeah, like once the patch goes live, I think that that's like their priority number one. Put out a patch with only seven bugs or something, and then like we'll go back. So All right. What I, 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 I'll be happy with February 4th as far as the announcement and then get <laughs> it implemented in games sometime the following week. I like that. Now, any, any other thoughts on uh, this before we move on to these uh, new alpha orbs? All right, so we did we did discuss this briefly. I think some of the speculation, the reason that Shadano Mac rewards are coming back is because we got this new Alpha Raid orb. Cloak is in the orb. Dagger is in the orb, and that's pretty pretty much everybody. That's uh, exciting for me. Uh, what did you think of this orb? Was this what you expected? Uh, was it? Dr- I mean, where where do you think? How much? Let me read that again. Um, so, what what are your initial thoughts when you saw this orb announced? when the data mines last week and then we saw it officially announced in the blog post yeah like so when i read the blog post it was like city and controller and support and i was like that doesn't mean anything and then they updated it like in the middle of my stream while i was talking about it they're like no city support and city controller i'm like oh cloak and dagger are in it cool and then i was done with it i was like cool thank god so like oh, anti-venom's did, did in it, it say, great did it right say or before did it say or before oh i have screenshots we, we took pictures oh, or. <laughs> uh, no 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 it said city comma controller comma and support not oxford comma sorry city comma controller and support oh, characters and i was all like right, well right. that could mean city controller city support or city characters and controllers and support i don't know what it means then they corrected it and they also corrected the villain bio and villain mystic one too which was less important to me somehow so like i was like yeah yeah okay so like i saw i was like oh yeah, yeah cloak and dagger cool before it went from like maybe cloak and dagger to like this is definitely cloak and dagger orbs uh again not farmable because it's two weeks every other month you can maybe get shards towards these characters, but you like think that you know, Scopely considers this farmable though. I think that that's the more important question. You think Scopely thinks this is farmable, and now now we're done yeah. with cloak and dagger? Well, yeah, of course they do. Oh, that's trash. That's trash. We're gonna the, don't get me wrong. I think they'll put cloak and dagger somewhere. Like we still need LDS, right? Mm-hmm. I think LDS has to go somewhere. Wait, for Cloak and Dagger, I'm not sure. I mean, at this point, Silver Moon Dragon, Surfer, Kestrel, Moon Dragon is an them. abandoned character, okay? We don't we have to think about it. her. We don't need her. I Stop telling in, lies. I was Infinity Watch in Arena maybe once or twice yes, a week. Yes, I dude. click I auto too sometimes. You're right. <laughs> and, Sorry, I click and Nebula need, Special and, you need, and auto. You need, you need Moon Dragon to do that auto, so we we need more. Mo- we need to finish that team. There's there's still on on a more serious note. There are people who don't have Moon Dragon that should have access to her just to complete that team. So yes, it does need to be farmable. Like I agree. Definitely. I'm just like man, they're Cole Obsidianing her, but only Cole Obsidian was actually important. 
for the team that was where it's they like, were at the time. It's like Corvus Glaive. And, they're hold, it's like they're holding out the Corvus yeah. Glaive right now after the Black Order. Yeah, they're back. holding Corvus Glaive back on, uh, but like three months after the the uh, Black Order stopped mattering. It's yeah. like, dude, what do you like? Just put her, dude. Put her in. Put her in a, a node one. Replace any Hawkeye farm with her. It'll be fine. I promise. <laughs> Like you'll be uh, okay. Yeah, how many does Hawkeye? Hey, Hawkeye has a lot. What is up with that? All right. I think uh, it's eight now. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. No, I'm and, and you know you far, we're gonna start getting some Hawkeye shards. All right. Yeah. And, and Hawkeye Bio shards. And villain mystic. They don't seem very imp important to me as someone that has a lot of these characters that already at seven stars. Hero Mujin is interesting because there's one character that is new, their magic. Now, when this comes around in the next season, do you think magic will be in this hero mutant orb, or do you think she's gonna be too new for that to be? added i would be shocked if they put magic I magic was well. released like beginning of december yeah. right around yes. that time come on and like, like so that's this. a two months it's not like we get this the, raid often it's the every, beta orb is two weeks away two so like every six weeks though should they? Of course they should. It's been you plenty of time. She should absolutely will, will they? Some I would be shocked. I, I would, would be shocked. Be shocked. Well. I'm still very optimistic. I would be. I would be super shocked, but also. Very I would be shocked if like bishops in it. <laughs> you, you think they're going to go that, that far back and not bishop? Jeez, yeah, horrible. I guarantee. I I would almost the guarantee. The orb if Wolverine bishops. and Storm are in that orb. But there just ain't that many Wolverine, hero mutants. Wolverine's gonna be in that orb. Yeah, Wolverine's in that orb. in that orb. Storm's <laughs> in that orb. Psylocke's in that orb. Cyclops is in that orb. Colossus is in that orb. No magic. <laughs> no right. bishop. Kitty right. Pride will be in that orb. All right, let's scroll down at this blog post a little bit because this was a little disappointing to me. Mojo's Mayhem is in full swing. Coming with the 15th season, my goodness, have has RGA been and uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of a good word for RGA. Has it has it been? Uh, I'm I, I don't even has it been th around that long? You know, have we been graced with the exciting and and an strenuous task of RTA for 15 whole seasons? I'm reading my mind, Tony. I couldn't get the thoughts out, but you got it out for me. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, it's but it, it's 15 seasons. Starts on January 28th, which is tomorrow, and yep. you're getting real time, uh, real time Marina Blitz. You're getting teal gear. You're getting bits that you can exchange for an older costume, the Wolverine Weapon X, the Hawkeye yeah. Hawk Guy costume, and Vision's Wanda Vision. So we're not even getting, we're getting, not even getting a new character anymore. We're not even getting the Burger King uh, Zemo. We're getting older costumes. So. Is, is this just them saying that real-time arena means nothing? We don't care about this battle pass. Uh, big error back last year. Because because now we're not even getting new characters there anymore. Now we're getting, not even getting new costumes. Now we're getting older costumes. Is this their admission to saying that Blitz is, or real-time arena is not important? We don't care anymore. No, because the teal gear is the, is the anchor on that. You know, like... The people who are buying it are not buying it for the costume. Hey, They're probably buying it for the teal gear. I just finished the milestones for this past one for the Zemo costume. I bought that. All the Absolutely. Gear I, all the teal gear I got. Man, let me upgrade zero zero positions that I couldn't. Of course recently. not. So yeah, yeah. So no, yeah. It's, it's it's it was so worth it. It's so worth the twenty. It was the same with it was the same with Gear Fifteen Mini Uniques though when they did that. Like every some people are like every little bit helps. Some people are like I'll wait till I can get more. Your mileage may vary. So, so okay, I actually don't hate this. Okay, I, I. But what I don't hate is the version in my mind where this exists. What I don't know is the version in reality that this will exist in my mind because it doesn't say with the paid version of the the past it doesn't say that anywhere there in my mind what i see is one currency we'll call it silver bits or orange bits who cares they're all they make up names all the time oh, yeah. one currency that buys all three characters what i would like to see is the free path will excuse me give you one of these characters and the paid path will give you the other two of these characters. This way, everybody gets to pick one if you complete it. Okay. And if you spend money, you get the other two. 
And to me, I'm like, that seems totally fair and reasonable. Or you can even hedge a little bit, complete halfway or a little bit more and still get two without having to get the left. You know what I mean? Like it, it opens up for everybody, for the players who aren't spending or willing to spend or want to spend, for the players who do want to spend, for the players who think that, you know what, it's these costumes are definitely worth it. It, yeah. it, it appeals to more people overall, and that makes it better. So that's what I see in my head. What I fear is that all of them are going to be different if that's the case, and then everyone gets WandaVision for free, uh, and Weapon X is 9,000. Of whatever the things are, that's like nine thousand exactly credits, like, exactly yeah, ninety, yeah, like ninety thousand. That's, that's exactly yeah. how it's gonna be. <laughs> so, right. like, well, the, and that's we'll find out, that's we'll just find out tomorrow. Yeah. We'll find out out tomorrow. Server reset. If this is as friendly as you're hoping it is, I'm I'm thinking none of it's gonna be unlocked. I think all of it's gonna be on the paid path, but hopefully that makes it they're, that they're, makes it feel better. dirty. Yeah, that that's it what makes I'm it thinking, feel dirty. Hopefully, hopefully it's a combination, or hopefully it's all your way and it's optimistic. A uh, little surprising. We're getting Phoenix coming back. Now, I didn't expect uh, Omega Red this next week. My, my prediction was on the 7th. But it looks like uh, Phoenix is coming or, uh, on the 6th. It looks like Phoenix is coming back on the 31st next week. Uh, were you surprised on this? And when do you think Omega Red is coming back? So I have a running theory that every, every time they push Omega Red back, obviously PD felt like a thing. Like everyone's like, well, if you had PD, you couldn't like, first of all, you could do PD without Omega Red, but just like that's so like it, if you like having him made it not a job, a pocket dimension. Cer yeah. Cer yeah. Cersei was the one that really carried that for me. Actually, not, not I, I did a run without Omega Red just for funsies and like yeah. Yondu did so much work. Oh. It wasn't even funny. Yeah, Yondu was just yeah, a it. hero. That's why my love for Yondu is restored. But right. e either way, that, that that's PD, right? That's never. Yeah. So like every time they push back Omega Red, my brain goes like, he's got to be necessary for something, right? And Pocket Dimension has passed. So what, did they just, they didn't give you Omega Red for Pocket Dimension, but they wanted to save face, so they didn't give it to you immediately after? That's not a scopely MO. That's not their, they were like, yeah, we did it. Shut up, deal with it. Well, you are know, like just, that's their- Are they just waiting because it's the second iteration and they, they need a certain amount of time or should we- No, I think, I I think he's going to be needed for something, like possibly- Another horse the only there. reason to extend that time for that long is that they want to control how is many it, people is it is it extended that long though it's been it hasn't been three months yet i believe since omega red's release it's been three months omega I, red was supposed to come back three weeks ago according to their general release strike yep okay all right I, I omega was red was earlier but okay i believe I three weeks ago all right, but is is are they extending? He was though, October, or is this normal? He was uh, he was mid he was mid uh, mid or end of October. I thought it was the fifteenth of October. I could be wrong on that though. So anyway, yeah, mid October, I think. Anyway, uh, all right. What is your prediction on when he's going to come back? Though I think it's the more important question. When when is he coming? Oh, back? I have no idea. I have no idea. I couldn't even guess. Like what, right. w w he should be back. He should be here. So like the fact that he's not every time they push him back is like. What are they going to make? Is he going to be needed for another legendary? Is is he a member of the apocalypse team? And they're just kind of like slow rolling it, so not everybody gets it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I couldn't even guess. Wanna, I'm sorry. I wish more heroes for hire. Maybe they want a fresh. I, I couldn't even guess. With the heroes for hire, they don't have to sell heroes for hire. The heroes for hire team uh, is now farmable at every stage of the game. All no, the characters every, are accessible. Everybody has heroes for hire. They're selling the solution to be. Well, I'm for hire, I'm so, yeah, thinking of it from a newer or or lower powered player perspective like you can absolutely complete the heroes for hire team in the first like i'm uh where's colleen colleen is arena Great. orb coming out arena of orb yeah arena you can complete team. the heroes for hire uh team in the first like 60 days of play yeah, but so the, means, the day so, you so hit what I'm, but what i'm saying is you could farm that team very early now everybody yeah. has it not everybody has a yeah. solution is that why they're holding omega red back because everybody has There's, that team not everybody's gonna have that solution so maybe they're hoping people will spend you more can't get it for that but you can't get omega red in the early stages anyway because you can't farm um what's his name cap sam the yeah. o I think I think they're they're holding back Omega. If I had to really guess, I would say it's because they plan on releasing another team uh, 
that has the ability to defeat the heroes for hire, like maybe the Midnight Suns. And as a result of that, they're trying their best to to like delay it so that when people are like Omega Red, they'll immediately get another answer. That's my best guess, but again, I'm just All right. guessing. All right, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I guess we'll find out in the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Uh, and I guess definitely what is coming next week is this update. We got the notice in game on the 25th. Usually the update comes about a week, exactly a week after we get this in game message. So, update no. most likely happening Tuesday, the first. Four new playable characters, new costumes. We're getting new costumes. But there's still one that hasn't been released yet. We're going to a new campaign event. It looks like one of the character releases, a flash event, possibly a new tower or a pocket. But I got a question about this character right here, Silver Surfer. So they're talking about new characters coming or new costumes coming. Yeah. Why haven't we had this totally rad costume? It is, it is that totally is rad. Costume's dope. It is. Uh, like, that's a great question. Is, have they <laughs> forgot it? Is this going to be a new character like Doctor Strange? Someone they just forgot about it? Like, yeah, we think uh, he's going to be on a new team instead of uh, released as a costume because they're talking about the the next the next strike pass. No mention of this, but they're mentioning some old costumes. So what 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 happened to this costume? I don't I don't know. But now like you keep every now because you said it, I'm keep like nowhere heist, bro. Everything's about nowhere heist. Nowhere heist is how you get the costume. <laughs> Nowhere it heist makes, unlocks it, it the. It makes sense. It makes sense. All right. I have no idea. This is a cool ass costume, know. though. Let, let <laughs> us know what you think. Uh, what, what's going to happen to the Silver Surfer costume? Is it going to end up a new character or something else? First appearance in 2021. Not, not, not really. Not really. <laughs> All right. Other things I want to ask you about the Flash event. I'm thinking that it's going to be another Avengers Tower mode. They didn't say it in five to six weeks. And this was January 14th that uh, this thing would be coming back. So that is that is a few weeks With less him. right now. So is that the Flash event they're talking about? Is Pocket Dimension, are we getting that coming back as another character release method? What what did uh, what, what are you uh, more looking forward to? I, I know you're reception was pretty positive to both the tower mode and the pocket dimension what are you more looking forward to coming back this in its iteration or pocket dimension with some potential changes for that uh neither are perfect okay so i just want to say that before because you just said like you were like you were generally positive like, yeah, like positive. tipping Most towards but, yeah like, like here's like, middle like, here i am you know like, yeah no no no, no. it, wasn't it was it wasn't it was as bad. bad it could have been better and it could have been more inclusive to the community that i'll say without a doubt but i i don't think the the core of the game mode was was fundamentally flawed um i'm more excited about the future pocket dimension because i as a player i I care about rewards. Yeah. I don't care about like the the glory of victory means nothing. It is the spoils of war I care about. So I don't care that I was able to get to rank. You know, I'm not going to care about tower. I got to 75. Go me. Like I'm not going to do that because that doesn't bother affect me. Other people are different. What I care about is what am I going to get for doing this? And if what I'm going to get is the same as the payout structure as the Avengers Tower first time, I'm less excited about it than Pocket Dimension. And Pocket Dimension, on the other hand, while it was, I mean, the last note of Pocket Dimension, I actually had to re-roll a couple of times with my good team, with my strong team. And uh, I, it wasn't... I tried to auto it the first time and they got wiped out. I'm like, oh. I gotta play this. I had some really I bad get, RNG. I didn't get my butt kicked out of this again. So. And also, I was trying to prove a point that I didn't need to prove. You know, like I was like, ah. The whole thing was, I, I like, I had fun in Pocket Dimension, which is not something that I could say everyone did, but I know I did. I know I enjoyed Pocket Dimension. So I would like to see another Pocket Dimension in its in its iteration as it was. I don't think the rewards were bad or good i think the rewards were completely fair for the effort it took uh i think that the uh maybe they could have made it a little bit more character there were a handful of characters in that pool that like no matter how you sliced it they were not going to you especially black, as you got further like i don't black, think red skull black, was particularly black, relevant you didn't, you didn't take black at panther 
No, like he, that's the point. Like maybe, maybe only what was it, sixteen characters, seventeen characters, something like that. Maybe only that many characters isn't enough to really make the difference. That's maybe fair. twenty is right, or maybe pick a little bit of a better pool of characters. I understand the idea that you want people to be able to access it, so you're putting in characters that are subpar that more people may have through happenstance. But like you also, you know, don't like the why is Black Panther there? So I like that event. I I didn't necessarily like it as a character release event, uh, I but I did like it as a standalone release, event. But I, I loved it as an event. Yeah, I, I think I'm in the same yeah. as you. As an event, it was awesome. Yeah. As a character release, it should have given more shards to the free to play players. Yes, as a um, I don't think I don't think a an event should offer. Think of what the maximum number of shards you can get from a blitz is. Right, and it's coming in first place. Me or most players, because I have a large. No, just 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 blitz. think the total maximum number of shards you can get okay. from a blitz. If you come in first place twice, it's like it's like six hundred something. It's not quite a seven star. I think it's it's barely a six, if I remember correctly. Um, so like, and that's not giving out to everybody. Most players are probably gonna get a hundred or so. Uh, not most players, actually, yeah. completely untrue. One, uh, a good portion of, of players. players that aren't in the one percent are gonna get not yeah that. every player is gonna get 50 what is it 21 21 and five whatever that is 46 shards uh, yeah, yeah, okay yeah 40 50 50 one shard that's how many every player is gonna get because that's clearing the milestones and doing nothing else you'll get the five shards at the bottom yeah. so it's 21 21 and 10. so that's the that's what every player is gonna get if you're clearing the milestones if you're not clearing the milestones you don't care about blitz anyways so that's that's the minimum. And then the scale is high. This was like, hey, if you do all of this, you're only getting, I think it was 121 126, shards or 100, 126, total 126 for the, yeah, for, the dimension, for everything, the milestones. And yeah. All. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, dude, that's barely a three star. Yeah. Like, come on. Like, if you want to have that kind of thing, like the the if you want to make it that difficult and limit it that much, like make it a five star, right? Be like, cool, you're done. Done the Lord's work. You've gotten the most stuff. And I don't even know if the pocket dimension part was that bad or the fact that the uh, the recurring event wasn't recurring. It was just 14 days of a milestone that players probably finished well those before the 14 signings, days were over things about it being that long. And, you know, there's some bad things about being that long as well. Yeah. But I, I, I thought that was kind of fair. It, it's not about equality, it's about equanimity. It's not about, everybody can't have the same thing. Everyone has to have the same opportunity, right? That, and then that that's sense. kind of where it goes, it goes on its own thing. Like, yes, you no. with your 1 million TCP roster should not be able to accomplish what me with my 16 million TCP roster should accomplish. That's not how it works. But are you to have a similar roster, you should be able to accomplish it. And, and that's, Maybe that's not the separation you needed. Like all you needed was 8 million. And then, you know, so that's the kind of difference I see. So I like PD needed a little bit more tweaks. I would love to see another one just because the gear was wor so worth it. Yeah, I want to see the again. small little do, rewards. I hope they change how they structure the character release. But if they if they changed out how many character shards they're giving, how many character shards they give early on, I, I don't mind as a character release. I, I think it's a good thing. And if they Good. I also I also like that they're that with this Avengers Tower feedback, all the complaints that I had with that, they're addressing. And that was make yes. it more inclusive, make it make earlier players be able to do more. Uh yeah. and, and that minor thing about the, the squad filter, they fixed that. So hopefully they listen to a lot of the, the feedback about pocket dimension. Uh what was the other thing you want to say? Because I do want to talk about these rumors. I'm excited. If here's the here's the 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 thing about pocket dimension yes. if that event wasn't for a new character if it was for a character that was released two or three months ago like hypothetically if that was for lady deathstrike if that pocket dimension is for a character somewhere between their farm ability and their their um release but hell if that was for kestrel if that was for Deathpool. I have no problem with that event then, right? Like, does that make more sense? Like, I'm no, like, oh, yeah, I mean, because... Yeah, because it's not a so character PD, release event. PD doesn't make sense as a character release event, but if you change nothing but the type of character that's put in there, I I, I think it's... 
I, th I think it's all around a, a I, better. I think that is true. Dynamic. I think they could also structure how they're giving out the fragments, increase yes. the fragments and stuff, and keep it as a yeah, character release event as well. So th th it's not perfect, but it's not far from. It's not so far that like it needs a complete overhaul. No, Just a these, tiny little tweak, and it's like a these great first game iterations mode. I thought were very good. Yeah, you know, better than the first iteration of Real Time Marina. All right, we got this. We got this silhouette. We got the first one announced. Echo. I think most yeah. people are thinking next one's gonna be. Kate Bishop Hawkeye, then sure. Brother Voodoo or yep. Doctor Voodoo, Doctor whichever Voodoo. version they're going with there, and then Morbius. Yep. Is this where you're also leaning and what uh, some of your sources are telling you? That is uh, the only one I don't know for a hundred percent fact is Kate Bishop number two. Okay, that's the that's... only one I can tell you that like I wouldn't put money on Kate Bishop being number two. I'd put any amount of money on Brother Voodoo and Morbius. All right, what you know, uh, do you think, who do you think it could be if it not Kate Bishop? Some people said maybe Agatha, uh, maybe a Tigra, maybe some other out of the box category. I mean, the purple, there's not many characters that I'm thinking with the purple yeah. border. So what, what is, is there any other character that I you thinking, think it could be? It, there's so many characters. The, the only uh, one that's uh, giving me fits is number two because it could be Hulkling. Like, and I know it's not, but like it could be, right? Uh, like it could, <laughs> there's so many characters it could be. <laughs> It could be Mockingbird, you know, like what, and purple. Mockingbird Who cares? Mockingbird like, has been rumored, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. like, there's so many different options. I was actually very mean to to somebody the other day, and it was because of you. And I would like you? to apologize. You. To the <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was very mean to somebody, and I don't think they know it was the joke, the meme. Uh, so I'd like to apologize to that person whose name I forgot. Therefore, okay. it's double insult. Um, but uh, I was I and it was technically me to you too. I was like, whoever said the West Coast Avengers are next needs their brain examined. And he's like, I heard from Valley. I was like, sorry, Valley. <laughs> Not me, Drew. Drew, the rumor guy, says yeah. all those things. All right, let's 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 talk about more rumors, brother. Because <laughs> so I, apologizing. I know, I know I know you know some things. <laughs> all right, I all right. We we talked about the uh, screenshots, but. One big thing that's getting a little more traction is T5s. Now, yeah. I think you you thought they were coming. I've heard some things about they were coming. Not anytime soon, though. There was yeah. a recent there was a recent interview that said they're not even working on T5s at this point. What is the latest that you've heard about T5s and their timing of the release? Oh, like, th like mm, end of year, kind of, like quarter, end of quarter three, beginning of quarter four, kind of conversation. So right now, the game is at a very strong equilibrium for uh, tier fours. Uh, the yes, you do not have enough tier fours to invest in every new character, getting every new character tier four. Mm -hmm. But the further you are in the game, the easier it becomes to start banking tier four because yes. you're not putting all like my web warriors do not have all four tier fours. My web warriors have maybe one or two on each Makes you know sense. like so so like every week i'm getting some from war and from raid i'm getting some from other stuff and i'm getting so the amount of tier fours we have is coming to a, a pitch of like they're eventually going to get to the point the same way we were with t3s that they're not going to be cost prohibitive for players anymore they're not going to be generating as much money as they were and that is going to probably come after they've introduced a series of characters that might be bleeding a little bit more of the tier fours. So all my information about tier fours has said it's not what tier, or tier fives, I'm sorry, uh, is not what tier fours are. It's not seven, 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 six, or, you know, are, or eight, are you eight, hearing, eight, six. So is it, are you hearing they're kind of uh, introduced like Zetas in Star Wars where some characters are gonna get some yeah. on passives and some aren't gonna get, and eventually they're gonna add these to the majority of the characters. Is that is that kind of what something your like are... I... exactly that? All right. Something like because at this point, if they didn't, what like you just said, though, like we have we're not working on tier fours. If you didn't have the plans of every character's build to already factor in another rank, to go back to 180, 190 <laughs> characters. To like look at minions and be like this like you're not gonna do that the one at a time you're planning sense. at that point is like hey let's take a look at a character that might need a little bit of help and let's give them a little bit of help it, it, think of it like a a rework um a, a cheap and easy way to rework a character 
or well, to strengthen and, the and characters money, as they come and out. make money from that new character. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, so oh, the T5s yeah. makes sense. Yeah, rework rework with the cost. Yeah, so I wouldn't. I don't think the game is at a point right now where like they're like we got to get these out. We got to get the. We got to. There's got to be another way. You know, like we're we're about to get. We have tier 16 right now, and we'll get tier 17 around the time they announce the next version of Dark Dimension, which I think is called Quantum Realm or mm. something. Okay. Multi realm, I don't know, whatever it is. So like the next version of Dark Dimension, we'll, we'll get another increase in gold and right. gear, and then after that, sometime between that happens and, and everything else, we'll start seeing like, hey, like so that what kind if of, there was a a new ability? I mean, yeah, what what you're saying as far as the timing kind of aligns with what I've been hearing as well. Maybe a little later than what I've been hearing. I was from the impression I've got from some of the rumors. I was thinking towards the middle of this year. You're saying quarter three, quarter four. So not early is basically you want to say not anytime soon, but later yeah. this year is uh, both. All right. Uh, next topic I want to talk to you about is Grand Tournament. This is what I'm looking forward to. I think I've got a smile on your face. I think you're looking forward to it as well. Mm -hmm. I don't know much about this other than people generally enjoy that game mode in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes where it's called Grand Arena and what we've already seen from the blog post that we got in December. Is there any other information that you have about Grand Tournament, about the timing, what this could possibly be based on? I know people are wondering about matchmaking on this. Uh, are you hearing anything about, about this mode at all uh, that you could share? The only things I've heard, I haven't heard anything about the mechanics of them. Okay. Or anything reasonable. They, you might, know, they, like might, heard, they like, might not even have it settled. They might have decided any of it I, yet. Yeah, exactly. I haven't heard anything that I would feel comfortable telling people like, prepare for this. What I have heard regarding this is it is slated to be the next full number patch. So like, when we leave, we're at MSF 5.9 or whatever right now. I think 5.1.0 oh, and, or no, no, 5.1.0 oh is five, coming. Ten. We are 5.9. We are yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. So like, if that's the case, right? 6.0 is is what Grand Tournament. Okay. And it's generally speaking, when they introduce a new game mode, generally speaking, they like to do it in May. Okay. around May uh, that usually winds up with a new arena team just after or around their anniversary which I believe is I remember correctly. I, thought, I thought it was in March I could be wrong on that though March or April something like that okay. so like after the anniversary they they like to time those things up and uh grand tournament will start hearing about it probably in the next month or two Okay. But I don't anticipate it. I think it's what's the math on this? Two patches from now, so we. That makes sense. No, that makes it, sense. About three. three so th we have a patch months. coming next next Wednesday or something, right? Like so, patch is coming next Wednesday, and then so that's that'll gonna be go five point one zero. That'll be five point one after that. So five five point eleven. Do we think we're going to get a we'll five point twelve yeah. or going right? To I don't from think we're going to get a five point twelve. Right, I think it's going to okay. go from five point eleven to. All right. I, 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 just I'm, feel, from I'm what feeling I that I'm feeling that timing as well Tony and I'm excited for it because there's so again same thing there's so many things that could be awesome about it that I'd rather just pretend that like there's nothing that could go wrong and just be excited so hey. I'm not disappointed. Hey, instead of instead of predicting what could go wrong, we'd just be happy and think of think of all the yeah, positive. I'm just Sometimes, I'm just I'm looking forward to it, man. It's like it's like your Christmas gifts when you're growing up, right? When you when you when you're anticipating, oh, I wonder what it is. It could be so good. That's the best part. Sometimes when you open it, like, oh, this is exactly what I had thought. And and it's and it's not and it's kind of disappointing because it's not better than what you thought. So yeah, I want. I'm and gonna right get now, all right my now. Let's enjoyment. be all super optimistic and happy. I like that. <laughs> all my enjoyment of the game mode is gonna start. It started like two weeks ago, and it's gonna end the day it goes live. And then like, <laughs> I'm gonna be like, ah, well, at least I got some fun out of it, as opposed to being like yeah, a negative Nancy up to the point, enjoyment. and then being yeah. like, yeah, this is what I thought. All right. All right. <laughs> As of right now, it's going to be the best game mode in the game. When it's actually launched, maybe not. But right now, 
It is. It is everything. It, <laughs> it so is awesome. currently the best game mode oh in the game. Oh my goodness! Yes, so exciting. <laughs> Grand tournament, baby. All right, <laughs> that's about all I got for you, brother. Uh, anything else that you want to promote? Anything else you want to discuss? Uh, anything Marvel Strike Force related that we didn't talk about that you want to talk about? No, man. I'm good. Everything's great. All right. Well, uh, let everybody know where to be back, find man. you, my brother. I'm, I'm glad you're uh, back as well. I, I, I know you have some personal <laughs> things, but I'm glad that, you know, everything's good now. So, yeah, uh, you can find me uh, at the grocery store okay. buying cinnamon buns because I found <sighs> out that you could buy cinnamon buns from like the bakery at the grocery store and heat them up. And they're like real cinnamon buns. <laughs> It's amazing. All right, we're, we're going to have to talk offline about uh, uh, <laughs> your food choices, Tony. But thank you for being here. All the links for his channel and everything is going to be down below. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, do a Marvel Strike Force Weekly News update for you every single week on this channel. We rotate the guests. Sometimes it's someone cool like Tony. Someone is, sometimes it's some other cool person. But if you enjoy this, hit that subscribe button. Hit that uh, thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And uh, obviously share with this with all your friends, guys. I will see you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day let me know what your thoughts are on this update are you hyped or are you uh are you a little cautiously optimistic i'll see you guys next time have a great rest of your day check me out on social media and tony before you go brother give me that hulk fist pump where's that there it is there it is tony and valley fly